What's up everybody? Good morning. Guess what? I splurged. I got a GoPro. This is a GoPro. Sick of the uh, no sound and the uh, scratch on the lens of my old one. Shouldn't be a problem with this guy because it's got like a lens cover kind of thing. So that's cool. Anyway, we're going to go fishing. I have some other new equipment to show you guys, uh, I, which I also splurged on. But first we got to get gas. And I haven't gone to a gas station since like the first or second week in March, believe it or not. I've been just riding on whatever tank I had. So that'll be fun. That'll definitely be a plastic gloves and mask situation. Anyway, uh, come along. I think we're going to go to the Amawak Reservoir. If not, we'll go somewhere else along the way. Cool. Okay, so behind me is Amawak Reservoir. I made it. I've never fished here before. I fished the, uh, the reservoir outlet caught some trout here before but uh, never the actual you know lake or reservoir um, I did tell you I had some new equipment so uh, I just wanted to show you real quick so I, I if, if you've seen my videos enough you know that I've never been much of a gearhead at all I usually get cheap stuff perhaps because I often break it or lose it but maybe getting some more expensive equipment, some higher quality equipment means I'll treat it better. So this is gonna be my drop shot setup for um, the summer and hopefully longer. Um, it is a, a Quantum Smoke 3. It's a medium light, extra fast action um, paired with a uh, Cast King Speed Demon. Uh, the reel wasn't too, I mean, it's under $100, but the the uh, rod was over. And, um, yeah, the, the, the thing about the reel is that it touts a uh, lightning fast 7.2 to 1 uh, gear ratio, which is uh, pretty much the best as far as spinning rods are concerned. Um, it is a little heavier than I would like um, from what I've read about, you know, drop shot rigs. But, um, the, I mean, the reel is, but that's okay. And then for... Other applications, including uh, chatter baits and other, uh, you know, heavier baits that um, I like throwing, we got the Shimano Corrado DC. It's uh, the 6.3 to 1 gear ratio. Relatively slow, but um, after doing my due diligence, my research, uh, I felt that um, this would be the best setup for me right now. Um, and of course, the good thing about a slower gear ratio is you can always just reel faster. Uh, if you get a, one that's too fast, you can't really slow down much. Um, so anyway, uh, who knows what to expect, but I'm also just kind of trying out my, my new equipment here. So um, stay tuned. All right, we're gonna start with a little drop shotting. I do have spinner baits. I'm sure you can tell it's very windy today, but I like this uh, little structure here. See if I can get it decently close. Um, I also learned how to tie an Albright, or no, sorry, I also learned how to tie an Alberto knot to, to uh, attach fluoro to braid, which is what's on this drop shot. However, I didn't have the right fluoro or the right braid, so it's kind of an awkward setup. It's um, 10 pound braid and 15 pound fluorocarbon. I have ordered the proper line. Should be arriving in a week. Guys, that was a huge fish. He wasn't really shaking his head, so I thought it was, um, that was right on the shore too. Maybe we can get him again. He didn't get hooked too good. That was a huge, fish i'm talking could have been five pounds it could have been five pounds on this little hook though i don't know i don't know if we can land it that was right right on the shore though oh god that was huge let's see let's see 
Let's get him again. Must still be around there somewhere. Oh God, gotta get another worm. Well, I'm gonna post up here for a little while. That thing was... Shoot. Maybe, maybe with this new camera, you'll even see the shadow of it. Damn. So I'm just gonna go with the same thing. These are like uh, yum drop shot worms. Watermelon and red fleck, I think. God. Now if I have to step in the water, no problem. And today I even have uh, waterproof socks on. And the GoPro is waterproof. Let's see. Might be a bed right there, you know? Who knows? Who knows what's up? Guys, that was like PB level. I don't know if it was large or small mouth, but I mean, if it was a small mouth, it's definitely PB level because I haven't caught much in the way of small mouth. Okay, on to the Corrado. We're gonna throw a Bassman jig with a net bait Paca Craw Okeechobee Craw pattern trailer. I don't know how long I wanna do this with all this wind. Might be better for a spinner bait or something, but this does have some noise with it, so. Very good casting on this. It's a Corrado rod as well, medium heavy. I, I think I forgot to mention that. Oh, he casts so smooth. Such a huge difference from the stuff I've been working with. That almost felt like a bite. I don't think it was though. Mm. But you can still bird's nest. I feel like it's harder to get out when it's braid. Damn it. Okay, back to the drop shot rod, except now it's a Texas rig rod. And guys, I'm not messing around here. I've got the stopper and the bead in addition to the tungsten bullet weight, the color changing smart bait stick worm, and I don't know, four or five aught wide gap hook. I'm telling you, I'm getting serious. I'm getting serious here. Messed around too long. You know, I don't even feel bad about losing that big one. I really don't. I mean, first of all, I'm out here having a good time testing my equipment, but also I think it'll come back. And then the next step after this not a fish. That is a big log. Well, there goes the habitat. Yeah, so I, last couple, last year or so, I haven't been using all of these bells and whistles with my with my Texas rigs, although I haven't been Texas rigging that much either. All right, so that Alberto knot that I made, it's strong, but it's um, getting caught in the, the thinner eye, eyelets when I cast, so I can't cast as far as I would like, so have to uh, look into how I can shore that up a bit. Okay guys, the weather conditions are forcing me to throw the kind of bait that I'm the least comfortable with and have the least success with, a spinner bait. 
This is actually a Gary Yamamoto spinnerbait. Don't normally think of him when you think of spinnerbaits, but uh, that's what it is. It's black, it's got some kind of beaver tail trailer on it. Let's see if we can get this going. I actually would have done white and chartreuse, but uh, fresh out. I don't know if it's got enough flash, but. Okay, just moved a little down the line. Back to the uh, Texas rig. Ugh. Come on, don't get stuck. All right, guys, Texas rig broke off, and I was gonna go back to drop shot on this this uh, drop shot rod, but. I decided since I'm so close to the shore, I'm just really focusing on these little structure points. I'm just going to do like a wacky worm. And uh, depending on how this, the rate of fall of this guy, I might put um, a nail weight in it to have like a Nico rig going. But all right, should stay in there. Spinner bait again. No, all right. I probably shouldn't have stayed in that one spot so long, but after losing a pretty big fish in the very beginning, uh, that that kind of caught my interest and made me stick around longer. But I'm gonna relocate. I don't have too much uh, memory left on this camera because I uh, it's only a 64 gig memory card. I don't want to bore you with the details, but uh, so um, I'm gonna go to a different spot on the on the reservoir, do some more fishing, but maybe not as much filming. But uh, hey, as far as the equipment goes, I mean, listen, as I suspected, I mean, you're still gonna get bird's nests with that Corrado, but. Um, Man, it is such a smooth cast, very uh, great controllability, and um, less bird nesting, at least. So, uh, and I like the drop shot setup as well, though um, I've just been getting snagged way too many times with it. But anyway, all right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, sometimes the uh, sometimes the the fish win. Sometimes the fishing gods just uh, aren't looking out for you. But uh, you know, in a way, they still are because all the trials and tribulations, as I've always said, make it that much better when you finally connect on a big fish or any fish. So uh, let me try to block the wind. Um, yeah, I think it was just a, a good time for me to get out, familiarize myself with my new equipment. I, I, I really like it. Now, it wasn't without a few snags here and there, literally and figuratively, but in general, I'm, uh, I'm pleased with, uh, with the performance of this new stuff. I think it was worth the money. Now I just have to keep it safe. Um, yeah, so I'm not even that bummed about that big fish that I lost. Um, I, I would guess it was probably in the three to four pound range. It, it seriously was big. Um, but uh, it's just another reminder for me that I got to work on my hook sets because they kind of suck. So anyway, it's Mother's Day. Got to go call my mom. Happy Mother's Day to you mothers out there. And, uh, you know, and we'll, uh, we'll try to get out again soon. So uh, 
Please like, please subscribe, and as always, fish like there's no tomorrow. Peace.